Atari's got a new game from Sneaky Box, and it isn't a recharge game. Let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Skin Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of the Good Times Newsline Flashcast. Yeah, that's right. Got a little lunchtime flashcast action. Um, so what are we about to talk about? We're talking about another game, again, from Sneaky Box and Atari getting dropped. It's called Days of Doom. And it's not a recharge game. No. It is, however, a strategy RPG. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Um, let's get into this. Um, <clears throat> I've got an article um, up here somewhere. I'm looking around at the, at the articles. Um, let's see. They got this Game Informer article here. Um, it says... Days of Dooms is a turn-based tactical roguelite from Atari. Atari and developer Sneaky Box have announced Days of Dooms, Dame, Days of Doom, an apocalyptic turn-based tactical roguelite. Awesome. This game hopes to subvert the expectations of those who are tired of the brown and gray color palettes of other apocalypse settings and by placing action over vibrant and colorful backdrops as you battle through hordes of zombies, raiders, and mutant lizards. I am in. Navigating the wasteland to reach sanctuary re requires strategy, and you must um, combat the encroaching mutated forces in, in using your group of distinct survivors. Be beyond the turn-based tactics at play, you must also manage your scarce collection of resources, keep your wits about you as you move maneuver through the hordes of the undead. Each of the eight survivor classes features unique abilities that can be used to shift your fortunes in battle. For example, the Pyro class allows you to burn enemies and leave them with residual damage while combining the Hydromancer with the Thrasher can drench enemies with water before electrocuting them with devastating synergy. That is crazy times. Um, players will, will need to use their abilities to their advantage and think strategically with these abilities to overcome the seemingly unsurmountable or insurmountable odds. And of course, with it being a roguelite, players can accept a each run to feel unique. With more than 50 randomly occurring events, present risk reward scenarios for players during their runs, and more than 70 collectible items and runes can help you turn the odds in your favor in your given run. However, as you play several runs and make progress, you unlock permanent upgrades such as party increases and resource accu accumulation speed. Days of Doom arrives on all of the variety of things. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, uh, Xbox One, Switch, PC, but we're talking about Atari VCS later this year. So um, later this year is vague. That means coming soon, dot, dot, dot. Probably, I don't know, I would, maybe holiday-ish stuff going on there. Um, looking really cool. And how does it look? Let's check out the trailer. Let's go. E10 for everyone, that's not bad. With the pop the apocalypse wasn't the end of the world, just the one we knew. New dangers have emerged and lurk around every corner. Only the extraordinary have survived this wasteland. We will do anything to find sanctuary. We can lay down your Looking good. Looking good, guys. 
And there is that sneaky box logo next to the Atari logo. You got the Atari VCS logo right on the other side. Looking awesome. We're going to rerun this um, as I go through some thoughts here. It's just, all right. So here's some, here's some like rich disclosure. Um, love the setting. You know, I'm into like the, the post-apocalyptic stuff. Like that's pretty cool. Um, it's been a while since I got into a game that is in that. I know the genre is a little tired, but I'm all about it. Um, also, the art style is looking really rad. I'm I'm definitely digging that. It's like a you know like the new wave, uh, you know like a cartoon indie kind of thing. Very cool, very cool look. Um, I'm loving the fact that it's it's sneaky box. It's the guys that have been bringing us all these recharge games, and then hey, here we go. We got this other thing you can play. Um, that's not necessarily based on all of the things that you, you loved. Um, but here's a new thing. And this is what the studio studio can do. Flex in a little of that studio muscle. Very cool. And the first time I'm hearing about anything that isn't a recharged game, you just so happen to choose one of my favorite genres of all time of all time. Yes, man. I love strategy RPGs. I love them. Vandal hearts and God of fantasy tactics and like, you know, like the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, Ogre Battle and Disgaea and like I, I play I, all of them, all of them, all of them. Um, Canon, right? You know, right here on the Spico Collection, I'm gonna be playing it. This is the very next game I'm playing after Golden Axe Warrior. I'm playing Canon for Completion Quest because I love strategy RPGs. That's that's what's going on here. Um, very 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 cool stuff. Um, as we check that out, I love the fact that like they got everything. They got they nailed it. They got the grid. They've got all the other cool little elements. You can get like you know your level up and stuff. I'm not exactly sure how they do it in the rogue light setting, so it's not like full art, full blown RPG. I guess is they you know because they keep leaning on that rogue light th um, scenario. But um, very interested to find out more. I want to find out more about like what's the battle system like. I want to know. Um, I mean, I already know it's turn-based, so I'm I'm get I'm good to go. Um, is there a timer though? Is this like ATB kind of thing? Like, what's what's going on with that? I want to know more about that. Um, I like the fact that you have like a little crafting thing going on. You can combine some stuff. You combine your weapons. You can do boom boom. Mm. I like the little references. You get a boomstick. I mean, come on, you know, you get zombies. You throw a little army of darkness reference in there. It's it's good times. That's good times. Um, but uh, very excited. I'm just like, yes, awesome. And again, it's the first thing that they're doing outside of a um, outside of a uh, a recharge game. And it's like, well, what can we possibly do? You know, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> let's just do this. Let's just do it. Let's just do this. The strategy RPG, man. Yes. Yes. This is exactly that's it. Can't wait. Can't wait for this one. This one's going to be good. Um, I, I will say this, though. I will. I will put this out right there. I am expecting certified good times in the fun for five, and it's only down from there. Just saying. Just saying. Because it, it, this is literally um, outside of you making, of them becoming, like, oh, here's a here's a sci-fi fantasy RPG that's turn-based and, um, you know, gives you all sorts of like, crazy cool things and you can play it for hours and all that kind of stuff. Outside of them announcing that as their next project, this is probably the next best thing um, for me. So, like, the, the bar is high. The bar is high, guys. So we'll see. What do you guys think, though? Are you into this kind of thing? I know this strategy RPG thing isn't necessarily everyone's bag, um, but <laughs> you can see that the excitement is here. I am ready for this thing. Um, that's awesome. What what a great way to kick off the holiday weekend. As you as you know, in the, in the United States here, we're getting ready for uh, Memorial Day. A couple of people have uh, some days off. Maybe even starting tomorrow. Um, you know what a great way to, to keep it keep it rolling. And then Atari, man, on fire, <laughs> on fire. Um, just keep it coming, guys. I love I love covering this stuff. Um, you know, I know that there's lots of other people that are in that are in the mix that love doing this too. Um, it's just so much fun. It's so much fun to see all these games come out. And yeah, they're going to other places, but you know what? As long as that Atari VCS is lo logo is there, makes me a happy camper because you know I got one of those, and I don't have a lot of the other ones. So very cool, very cool. Interesting though. That's a weird thing. The only other thing that I'll say um, before we before we get out, the only other thing that's weird is like, I want to know like, like what was the decision for E10 Plus? You know, like on a post-apocalyptic thing, you automatically think M. 
you know, because you, you got to get the, the gore and this, this and that, whatever, you know, but E10 plus, um, very interesting. It's a very interesting, like lean, um, you know, not that I'm not, not that I'm not happy about it because I'm ec ecstatic because, you know, if it doesn't have all that stuff, because you got it, you can't have that in an E10 game, um, it, all the better, right? Because, you know, it means more people uh, can see your product, but it's very interesting. It's a very interesting choice. So, you know, I'd love, love to know exactly what the thought process was behind all of that. So, Anyway, let us know down below what you guys think in the comments. You know, I love getting the conversation going uh, with you guys. It's always there. I, re I respond basically to literally every comment that you ever put in there. So just come on, throw them at the, throw them at me. It's all, all like all that good stuff. But we've reached the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions, and you know it's you know it's time. It's time for me to go to the list because the list has grown. The Good Times Club has new members as of yesterday. So we thank them before we actually thank them again because you get you get thanked twice in every video uh, because without the Good Times Club and their awesome support and their awesome feedback, um, this channel um, goes in all sorts of different directors because there's only this one guy, right? But now this like there's this group of awesome people that are helping me and prodding me along in the um, in the journey that is this channel. So I want to thank them. Uh, so thank you to the Ever Canadian. Thank you to Crimson Cross. Thank you to George Games. Thank you to Chris Westerman. Thank you to Phantom Fiction. Thank you to Skeletrex. Thank you to Lloyd R. Jim. Thank you to Papa Pete. And thank you to brand new member, The Intellivision Gamer. Thank you so much for being a member. Thank you, all of, all of you, for being a, a awesome uh, form of support here for the channel here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Um, and I cannot wait to show some more things that I've been working on. Um, I do have some of that little free time in the weekend. Um, I'm hoping to get like dig in and get some cool stuff for you. Of course, another exclusive video coming tomorrow for you guys in the realm of the retro riches restorations. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, so it, it, like, and maybe it's a, it's a maybe, but I'm hoping to get you um, that one other thing to get another show launched so we can do it in June. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you guys so much again. Thanks to everyone for watching. You know, leave likes and all that stuff and do the buttons and whatever if you'd like. Uh, if you don't, well, well, you know, it's fine. It's all good. But until next time, we will see, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. And man, just keep it going, Atari. Just keep it going. All right, see you. Bacon ice cream dot com.